got most of my stuff packed now. And I'm not really ready to go. <laughs> um, I was like, okay, let's see. Does anybody really want to see my suitcase? And I'm thinking, no, because it has four pairs of pants, four undershirts, four button-up shirts, a pair of swimming trunks, four pairs of underwear, <laughs> four pairs of socks, um, my brush, floss, um, toothbrush, and I think that's all that's in that one, that bag. Then I got my little toiletry bag you got pull out, which has my soap, toothpaste in it. It has my chapstick in it. And that's it. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, nobody wants to see that. So uh, I basically, it's in a soup, my uh, little tiny bag I'm just going to put in the overhead. So that I don't, I don't want to check any bags because I, I've had experiences to where they don't show up. And you got to come back later. But, okay. But I thought, Bill might want to see what's in this one. You see this thing right here? Right now, it's empty. This is what my DSLR camera, my Canon that I'm actually using right now, is going to go in this. And this is going to be, it's going to basically, it's attached with uh, carabiners. So, what basically, when I play this on the conveyor belt, I can lay this flat. And I'll just have this sitting like this. So as it goes down the conveyor belt, it won't be, it'll be very easy for them to scan it and hopefully not, and hopefully not um, have issues with it. Okay. In the back, laptop compartment, I have my uh, MacBook. I love this little sticker I got on the back of it. had it on here for quite a few years. It's like the Headless Horseman. Okay, I'm actually going to sit this, well, before I sit on the floor, right here in this pocket, I have an extension cord, and I have a, like, two, three, it's like four or five port little uh, surge protector. Basically, uh, pre it's not as bad now, but previously when you're in the airport, um, there's not many plugs, so uh, it's great when you could go, when you see somebody be like, Hey man, you mind if I plug in? Also, I've got a, a, a search a, a power strip here, and most of the time they'll be like, "Yeah, sure, if I can plug something else in too." And I'm like, "Go right ahead," because <laughs> most of them I just want to plug up my phone or something like that. Because so that's what's in that pocket. In this pocket, I have some kind of pills. I think they're Pepto Bismol or something like that. I have this right here. This is basically it's a flashlight. But it's also a uh, power um, power battery bank. And I also have this uh, Rav Four battery bank. These are not supposed to be in here. These are like Lego uh, mini fig papers things. I'm not sure why they're still in there. This is like a I think fourteen thousand milliamp. I can't remember. Uh, Ten thousand four hundred milliamps. So this this a charge of my phone and stuff up pretty well. Okay, let's go ahead and zip that back up. All right, in this pocket, power cords. I mean, it's got my switch, Vita, power cords in here. In here, I have my headphones. That's what the cord is, and I have some like. Um, paper like print and play like board games like this right here is a zombie in my pocket love it i got a few others in here that in case sometimes i just don't want to play a video game i want to actually play that one playing um right here is where the adapter for my laptop is going to go so i also got the adapter for my phone and my watch and it's got like the us the plugs to plug them into the wall with here I've got an extra set of headphones because I have lost headphones before, and that's the worst thing that can happen to you. These are the crappy ones that came with my phone, but they are better than nothing when you, you've lost your other ones. And I have this little stand, like if I want to watch something on my phone, I probably won't, but I always take this. This is like, it was like a dollar. I can't remember where I got it. 
basically I just sit this down and what put and let me watch my phone. Uh, oh, and I got a very very short uh, micro USB. This is really good. I can just plug plug it into my laptop, plug whatever into this end, charge something. Okay, that's that pocket. This pocket got my sunglasses, and I have. And behind it has oh has the back ends of my switch uh, things for the controllers in case I want to put in case there's something on the plane that uh, wants to play it with me I have two I have uh, Binding of Isaac and Bomberman and I can stick these on it and we can play together I don't know if that'll happen but hey you never know might okay there's that. Also, there's a lint roller in here. That's just for, I'll probably put that in my bag. I'm not sure if I want to keep that in here or not. All right. Now, this compartment. This is my SJ cam. It's kind of like a GoPro type camera. Um, let's see, what else do we have in here? I am taking every game I own for the Vita, <laughs> which is probably a bad idea. But as you can see, I'm just taking the, I have these cases like this to put them in. And I think that may be it in here. Yes, that's all. Oh, no, I take it back. There is one thing. An ink pen. All right, let's get these back in here. See, also doing this helps me know what I have in here, make sure I haven't forgotten anything. I've also got my Corgi button on my backpack. I love this little button. Okay, now, main compartment. Got my Nintendo Switch. This is the case I will be using with it. The reason why I like this case, I think I've shown this before, is because I can use it as the stand, like that. Because I do think this stand here, it came on it, seems very, very flimsy. I'll probably never use it. Okay. Also, my Vita. Having a hard shell case. I prefer hard shell cases for game for consoles like this, or ones at least cover it completely like this. The reason why is because the screens are easily broken. I have this right here has two portable hard drives in it. One of them has basically my entertainment on it and the other one is for my laptop that I use for my video editing so where it stores all my stuff for it. Okay. It's on the bottom part. I have this little plastic thing here. I have things in it. And inside that I have my Kindle. I have this is something I've actually just recently got. And it is they call a traveler's journal. Come on. I'm trying, I'm trying to do this in a hurry. So it's making it very difficult to pull out this, this like cotton sleeve they have in it. Basically it's a leather cover. And you have these like little books that um, are separate. And you basically can put up, you can like put three of these in it and, and uh, keep them in it. And actually what you do basically is just write down notes. I have a I have written a little bit in this one. I'm not going to show you. Sorry, it's a little personal stuff. And the other one, it's it, the, the first one is just plain paper, and this one is the second one is a grid, and it also came with a um, like a clear thing that you can put stuff in. And it's got like a little elastic band that goes around it, and it goes in here. So. There's, that and this is just the little notes I'll take. And lastly is my little thing that basically I'll take to the meetings and everything, and this is what I'll write notes in for it. I'm tempted to leave this part here, which is actually what I think I'm going to do. Come here. Because this part is kind of heavy. I think I'm actually going to leave that. And I'm going to take this. Let's actually let's make sure nothing else isn't down here. 
Alright, nothing else is down in there. So, put that back in there. Put that there. That there. That there. And... That there. Okay. Some other little things that I will be taking are uh, an extra memory card for my camera and two extra batteries for my camera. The SJ Cam I don't have an extra battery for, but, ooh, I need a longer, that, see, doing this actually helped me right now because I remembered. I need a longer USB micro cord because I can actually, while I'm recording on the SJ Cam, I can actually hook it up to one of these battery packs because these, basically, they'll supply five volts to a USB device. All right. I think that's everything. That may seem like a lot, or to some people, it may seem like nothing. I don't know. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's what I'm taking for my trip. I'm going to be gone for a few days. Basically, the in-laws are going to be spending time here with my wife and my son. They'll, they'll be helping her take care of everything. Because, I mean, one, it's, just, it's normally me and my wife doing everything, and this week it's just going to be her. So it is, it is understandable. She needs some help because the dogs and Adrian are there a handful. So, but yeah, basically, oh, tips for me in the past. It's been a while since I've traveled, but what I'm going to try to do is um, when I go to the airport, I wear slip-on shoes. Oh, the shoes I'm wearing, I'm only taking one pair of shoes. And I've, I've heard of people taking two or th like, oh, I go to the airport in these shoes. No, I take one pair of shoes. I wear them every day. Some people like it, some people don't. I don't know. It's just that's how I've always done it. Um, so what I do is I'll actually take, before I leave, I take my wallet out of my pants. I put that in my bag, either my my bag is going over the overhead or this one here that, that has all my stuff in it. I have my cell phone I'll put in this bag here and my belt is actually in my luggage that I'm going to put in the overhead. And my pants, yes, my pants are falling off of me, but when I get up to the line, that prevents me having to go, okay, take my belt off, okay, roll it up, put it in a thing, my shoes are in, another, in it, and then, okay, there's my phone, and then there's this and this, and then I already, I'm, I already have enough stuff. Basically, what I want to do is to get there, lay my bag on the conveyor belt, lay my backpack on the conveyor belt, pull my laptop out, pull my uh, switch and my Vita out, put, the, put those three things in the same uh, basket thing, whatever, the container, then let my bag go down because uh, it's going to have my Kindle in it and it's going to have my, my camera attached to it. And then also... As those go through, the my the conveyor belt will also have my will have my between my luggage and my backpack will be the one that has my laptop switch and Vita in it. So that way everything goes down. Basically, now I walk through whatever scanner they have, and then other side grab my stuff, put it in really quickly, and I'm out. And then as I, before I walk away. I'll actually grab my belt out of my luggage, put it on, and then go on. Because if you do it, if I do it that way, I don't have to worry about, okay, did I forget to take anything in my pockets? Oh crap, they gotta pat me down now. I gotta do this, now I gotta go through this and this. Because the last thing you want is to have, oh, I gotta remember my watch, I'm gonna put, I'll attach to my uh, backpack also. Because basically what I'll do is when I take it off and put it around the handle of my backpack. Because there's, because if you don't, they're going to be like, oh, that's, they'll, that can actually get you a pat down because of the watch. <laughs> so I'm hoping that everything will be copacetic. Because <laughs> like, that's the reason why I have my headphones in my backpack instead of my pocket. So like everything, like I've actually already taken all the stuff in my pockets. My keys, i got to remember to leave them here because I'm so used to always carrying them. Um, but yeah. That's my idea. I hope it works. I hope I can get through security easily. Um, 
my, my, the problem is I don't think I'm going to have any th issue getting through security where I live because it's a smaller airport and not as many um, people. But coming back, coming back from Florida, that may be more of a hassle because there's just bigger airport. Well, I guess it's a bigger airport. I'm not sure. I've never flown into this one before. So I hope that it will be... I'm hoping I, I won't have any trouble. I've seen a lot of things on the internet. People, A lot of people are talking about how they've had issues and stuff like that, but I'm hoping that I can get through with not everybody and, and not people just going, <laughs> But anyways, I need to get off here because I need to finish packing. Got to do some video editing, upload stuff, and then tomorrow, I hopefully, I'll be have a lot of footage and cool things to show people, like stuff from the plane and stuff like that. Because I do have a window seat. I really wanted a window seat. I don't know. I don't understand people saying they don't like them. Oh, 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 oh. Where is it? Dang it. What did I do with it? Let's see. Um... Now that I'm thinking about it, it, it was up here. There we are. My neck pillow. <laughs> so basically, this is one of the best things if you're flying you can have because it makes it to where if you if you're when you're laying back and this is against the seat, you can actually kind of like rest your head against it. I'm hoping that's not too loud into the mic. But great because it helps you so much. It helps you relax, if, especially if you're on a very, very long flight. This flight's not that long, so I don't know how much use it'll be to me, but I'm going to take it just in case. I don't like the blow up ones because um, one, they make noise, and two, I've actually seen people have them and they, they uh, leak air. And this, like, they basically you see them, like, take it off and they like kind of squeeze it and everything. They blow it back up, put it behind their neck. A few minutes later, they'll pull it out and be like, it's leaking. And then they literally just throw it in the floor or they put it behind the seat. And most of the time, they leave it. <laughs> but, anyways, hope everybody enjoyed my video. I am, this is what I'm packing, uh, my, what I, how I packed my luggage. Um, the bag, it's not too heavy. I mean, it's, it's not as heavy as the bag I carry to work every day because it actually doesn't have all the stuff in it. But, yep, yeah, I think that's everything. But, hope you guys had a good day. My, I didn't even talk about my day. Basically, I spent time with Adrian. And I didn't spend as much time with the puppies as I wanted because we celebrated my mother-in-law's birthday today. But, it was pretty good. Had some barbecue um, for dinner and everything. So, pretty good. But hope you have a good day and talk to everybody tomorrow.